Welcome back, everybody, to the SSL here with Valdez and Moonlay. We just saw life dominate Flash 3 to 0. Very one sided games, but now we are going to jump into another ZVT Scarlet versus DY. Yes, we are. This should be a very interesting game. We haven't seen Scarlet play in a while, and there she is. All dressed up for the occasion, even done her nails. Looking fantastic. Oh, yeah. Damn. Pot of Team Acer. She uh, hasn't had too much success in recent times. Didn't get to play at IEM San Jose, unfortunately. But let's see what she's uh, she's got planned for today up against her opponent, T.Y. Bit yeah. of a, one of the monster Korean Terrans out here, and is actually in, in pretty decent form. Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen her in, her in a while, but I'm sure she is practicing her heart out for this game. Whereas T.Y., I'm sure he's doing the same. You know, he, he's back here on the scene. He wants to make another stand. And I think he's going to play very well. But Sasha, Scarlet, she's got a big thing ahead of her. Yes, she does. We did actually see T.Y. qualify for uh, Code S and SSL through the qualifiers. No invites for them. Uh, for him, he beat uh, Blast, Liquid Hero, and Patience to get to SSL. And defeated Osmaru and Shine to qualify for Code S. Yep. Well, here we go. We get a look at his results so far. No big wins. A lot of, you know, round of 16, round of 32, round of 8. But yeah. uh, he's always been a very strong Terran here in Korea. One of his probably his biggest results as of late, he did defeat Sue in the Hot Six Qualifier, uh, sorry, Hot Six Cup uh, group stage, 2-0. Yeah. And he did proxy two racks both games. So we'll have to wait and see if he's going to be that kind of aggressive against Scarlet in these upcoming match. Well, I'm sure Scarlet was watching those matches as well, so she does have to keep that in mind. For maps here, we do have Scarlet banning Catalina, no big surprise there, whereas TY bans Foxtrot, interestingly enough. But set number one will be on King Sejong Station into mm. Deadwing, Merry-Go-Round, Nimbus, and Overgrowth. Yeah, we're going to see Nimbus for the first time today, so that's going to be fun. Uh, you know, normally we see uh, Terrence let that one slip by, but uh, not bad, not a bad one. Uh, interesting, yeah, that he did get rid of uh, Foxtrot Labs. As yeah. we did see uh, Dream play so well against Solar on that map. It is what do you think the reason for that is? Do you think he's just not comfortable on that map? Or do you feel like mm. he saw something in Scarlet's maybe, style? Maybe or? he doesn't like this, the fact that it can be uh, two different types of uh, spawns. Maybe one more uh. favorable, one less favorable. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Well, guys, we are going to jump into set number one. It's on King Sejong Station. TY is TY TY for this because... He does need more than three characters. And Scarlet is Scarlet, but let's jump into game number one here on King Sejong Station. Down here in the bottom right in the red, the Zerg player, or foreign player here, it is Scarlet. The foreign hoop. Can she do it? Very excited to see how she's going to be playing this. I get a feeling, Brennan, that we might actually see some uh, pretty aggressive play from her today. Yeah. Judging by how these games have gone so far, I wouldn't be too surprised. Life making it work. And in the top left, we do have the Korean Terran, TY. TY. Has been actually really in form as of late, playing very, very well at the end of this year. He dropped off for a while there, and we didn't see too much from TY. Seems like he's back. Bye bye, baby. Go Canucks. Scarlet, of course, being Canadian. Yep. Telling uh, TY to get out of the house. We had another fan over there actually saying, go, go, round the 16. Wow. We are seeing actually a, a nine pool be made from Scarlet to start things off. So Here we go. I <laughs> guess she is going to be aggressive. Not a bad start at all. We'll have to wait and see. Are we going to see uh, a Rax or a CC? And I think we're going to see a CC it's from like TY. It. So this is a fantastic opening for Scarlet to start things off. Really going to put on the pressure. And, you know, the last time we saw a foreigner play here in Korea was State against Classic. Classic cheesed him out on this map. It's time for the foreigner revenge. It's time, man. Here we go. It's going to be a CC on the low ground as well. Things could not be better to start off this game for Scarlet. Scarlet seems to have studied his style pretty well here. TY, TY does like to do this from time to time. And on a map like this, I guess he's just not expecting Scarlet to go for a nine pool. But Scarlet says, uh-uh, you don't know me. You don't know me. 
You don't know what I can do. <laughs> you didn't see me at IEM San Jose, but I wasn't there. So I'm going to nine pull you. Yep. And I think it's going to work a treat because we only seal the racks go down just now. The CC is on the low ground. And that's getting canceled. That ain't finishing. This is about as greedy as it can get for TY. And when you are greedy like this, it can get punished. That's why we call it greedy. It is greedy. But, uh, you know, we, we very, very often do not see uh, Zergs go for this uh, nine pull sort of style anymore. It's like something that just doesn't happen usually. Yeah. But uh, she's done her research. She knows exactly what she's up against. And here comes the surprise. TY sees it. Supplies lings, and here we go. We do have the block at the top, but of course, like you said, this CC is going to have a hard time getting up. It does put up one ling here to harass at that SCV building in the engineering bay. Yeah, I actually really like that it's an engineering bay too, because that's kind of guaranteed to, to finish and block off because it is such a high HP uh, building yeah. for cheap. So down goes the CC. Oh, actually trapping that SCV. Nice. Another getting, nice bonus yeah, there. Now going to start working on that supply depot. Until that Marine comes out, you know, short yeah. supply pressure, force out some repairing, even more economic damage, forcing SCVs away from the mineral patches and force the repair. Same time, we are seeing that hatchery go down at the natural for Scarlet. And immediately the CC restarted here on the high ground. But Scarlet, very nice here, just pulling back one link at a time, forcing out as much repairing as possible. Yes. So annoying. Oh, yeah. Brilliant control. She's looking fantastic already. She should be able to claim that third SCV, the, the one that was scouting. And from there, economic advantage. Scarlet, great opening. Yeah. Where do we go from here? Scarlet, so far, just going to put down her natural. Hatchery, of course. There's the CC out on, or, or the rather the SCV out on the map. Just chilling over there towards the right side. Gonna come back home now. <laughs> Once we get that mining in, we're Scarlet gonna start some gas here. Two gas actually. Yes, yeah, she is. Two 530, uh, 530 gases. Yeah. A little bit delayed, obviously because of the uh, the night pool. Want to get those uh, drones mining first. Get that drone count up to a nice healthy number before applying for two extractors. Scarlet, knowing mm -hmm. she has T.Y. on the back foot, having the Lings there at the front to scout, as well as the Overlord. She sees everything right now. The Link speed will be pretty behind because of this. Uh, there will be Hellions on the map in full force before, long before speed is out, which can be a bit of a problem. I have to wait and see if she's going to try and hide some Zerglings somewhere to maybe threat a counterattack at some point, or is she simply going to bring them all home? We're seeing one Creep Queen be added as well. And a very fast lair from Scarlet. Hmm. Mm. I wonder Could if we get be tricky. Yeah. I, do you think this is Mutas or Roaches? I think it's Mutas. We are seeing a third gas being added. Okay. Uh, Roach Warren has to be added very, very soon. Otherwise, the timing doesn't really line up for Roach Speed when Tier 2 finishes as well as the Roach Warren. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm guessing it will be Mutas. We are, we've seen the style a lot in recent times. Uh, usually you go from three gas into a later fourth gas. So you're kind of maintaining a decent uh, mineral supply. Uh, mineral, uh, mineral income. Mm-hmm. There's that third gas going down, as you did mention, and the two Hellions at the front just trying to scout and see what he can see. Sees no third base. And look at this follow-up we see from TY. He's actually making a Widow Mine and a Medivac. So we could see uh, some pretty, pretty effective drops going on. A two Widow Mine drop, perhaps. And not a bad choice for this map. Obviously, the natural is very, uh, very close to the natural of TY. I mean, it is, is more exposed than any other place in the map. More drops, the minerals facing towards T Way. Mm -hmm. And Scarlet putting down a spine crawler at the front, wants to just be as careful as possible. Very nice taking that watchtower, is going to see the medevac coming through here as well. So, should be ready for that. Yeah, we'll be able to get uh, an overseer in due time as well. Very Already putting that spire down in the middle. And does see the medevac. Has Lings in place, but has she noticed in time? Uh oh, Ooh. already being burrowed here. Does right now pull back, and a very nice on Burrow, actually, on that Widowmine. And look at this, huge hits by the Hellions oh, wow. onto the drones, but it does seem like the Queen's oh, going to work. No. Oh, no, coming back, losing 12 drones here is Scarlet, and now the Hellions are in the main. Just lined up a little too much. much of a defense here as well, just as Queen. Well, this is certainly one way to turn things back around in your favor. 17 drones going down to the Hell... 19. Yeah. All right, never this mind. This isn't over just yet. He's still got this Hellion in the One main. Hellion on 2 HP. Doesn't find him. Where's the Overseer? 
Oh, he was making no. one, and this is going to go off once Ooh, again. Three more go down, and that one's going to trigger two. Oh, no. Oh, Hits luckily, the queen. Luckily, he was not controlling it. He could have got, like, another five, six drones, and this game is completely turned on its head because of this. Yeah. Scarlet had a great advantage early on, but not handling the run by too well and not handling those Widow Mines either. A couple of missteps there. He's going to get Mutas out in time. Regardless, eight Mutas on the way. Not sure where these SUVs are going. Probably a missed rally here. So, mm. too by a bit of a mistake, but that's okay. Yeah, not too bad. He's going to see what's at the front of the base. He could be scouting on the third base as well. And he already has turrets up because he did get that Hellion run by. He did see the Spire at the top of the ramp. He knows exactly what's up, and he can transition effectively. Yep, turret up already at the natural. Going to try to pick off what he can. But two Vikings already out. Two Vikings, yeah. He's got everything to defend against this. Everything he needs for now. You probably want to add Thor's later. We'll have to wait and see if we're going to see Scarlet go into that kind of muta style that we did see. Oh, but no. oh, hang on. A huge Hellion run by into the natural. And there's not much hope for a lot of these drones. Yep. No wall here at the natural just yet. And Hellion's getting eight drone kills at the natural and now starting to come into the main. Not much hope here. Trying to run away most of these drones. But on the chase is TY. Decent splits here, but again, just getting so many kills. This is such a good trade for TY. Yeah, this is way too much damage. Another 14 drones go down. And more, maybe to boot. We are seeing Hellions try one more time. Uh, not quite. And you get 15. So, yeah. man, that could not have gone better for TY. He knows exactly what he has to do in this kind of situation. No links were being drones. made. Yeah, no links were being made because of uh, how much Scarlet had to catch up with drones. And from here... TY is in a very, very comfortable position. Should be quite comfortable to move out that third CC in just a bit here, just cleaning out that third area. The meters are still on the map here. We do see a Roach Warren as well as Roach Speed being upgraded. Scarlet finding what she can, but I mean, uh, you know, just the, the addition of those two Vikings is just enough to, to keep them back, and we are actually seeing Roach speed being upgraded, so I think we might yeah. be seeing a sort of a Roach Ling Bane timing. What do you think the chances of this are actually, of working? I think it's actually uh, just a Roach timing. We actually see no Baneling nest on the uh, on the map so far. So uh, yeah, I, I think if it was Mech, I would like it. Uh, if it's against Bio like this, Scarlet really has to hope there's not enough Widow Mines and there's not enough Marauders out for this to be efficient because there's already well, a lot of medivacs and a lot of stim already. Not so many marauders though, just two. Yeah, and it's also going to be about if TY can identify this happening before it happens, before she gets on the map with them. And we see TY move across the map now. Yep, scan already coming down towards the front of the natural. Able to take out a gas, a very small victory for Scarlet. Now she is going to come back. Does not want to fly over these Marines. Does Ooh. lose one Yeah, of these Mutas. Scarlet has hidden this for long enough, but does it actually enough Roaches for this to be worth it? The Marines do have the upgrade advantage, and he's going to run into the, uh -oh. the Roaches now, but still not enough just yet. Going to have to borrow those Widow Mines, and it's going to be a hard fight for TY. I don't know if he can actually win, but that is a lot of Medivacs. Medivacs are doing great healing, but a lot of Roaches here, and the Mutas coming from behind trying to pick off these... Medivacs, actually, and some more roaches coming oh, from the wow. third base. But look at that, the power of all these Medivacs just coming it, in and healing so many of these Marines and already taking so much damage earlier on was Scarlet. And now, just now, TY has free reign here at the natural. Yeah, just way too many Medivacs to deal with this. Uh, Medivacs a great way to kind of deal with the Roach Hydra sort of composition because you can last so much longer against the, the slow attack speed of the roaches. and. Gonna eventually hold it back, but she did take a lot of drone damage once again. And still, Mutas, not enough Mutas to really clean up any medivacs. So the medivac count remains the same. And now TY's got a very big advantage. He's gonna push it. He's parading across the map. He's regrouped with his forces, and I would not be surprised if he starts poking again. Maybe some drops, maybe some pressure at the front. I think just pressure at the front would be enough because there's no bailings. He can step on creep like this, and he just has to tank the roach shots. He has to take a decent concave, maybe even put these widow mines down in a decent position to kind of zone out the roaches. And you see that one of them get picked off. But still, that is so many buyer. And it's really awkward position for Scarlet. A lot of the roaches trapped at the back. Yeah, man, not really a good concave. She's trying to push forward, and 
focus down these Marines, but there are just way too many medevacs. And he's got a very good position here at the top of the ramp. More reinforcements coming in. Concussive Shell is even finishing up here, and GG is called. GG. Scarlet will go down in game number one here to TY. Yeah, very interesting game though. Uh, great stuff for Scarlet, you know, coming in there with the nine pool, catching out the CC first, claiming a, a small economic lead from there, but the follow-up from TY was perfect, and Scarlet just didn't handle it well enough, you know, taking too much drone damage from that Hellion run by twice. Very true. She looks very frustrated as well. It's a it's a hard loss to take that one. Hellion run by is probably one of the worst ways to lose, I gotta say. Yeah. It's it's just sad because all you have is like queens and slow links to defend against, like four Hellions one shotting lines of drones. I think she was just not expecting that really. She had a, a spine crawler at the front, but no wall. Mm. No Evo Chambers going down. Yeah, uh, nice and city will really help, especially if you are